Hello soul peeps, soul fam, soul lessons, soul learners, soul learnings. So I'm playing on the um, Spotify generated, not sponsored playlists. Instagram, don't, or YouTube, or wherever this is going, don't steal my video because there's a bit of song in the background, so now we have to shut the door. But all your friends are wasted and you hate this club and they drink too much and you drink too much. That's the song. This is a new challenge. I'm just gonna tell you what cards we have and I will give you the meanings for these, which means you have to figure out how to stand the phone up. Another work smarter, not harder reading, brought to you by Cassandra. So, we have my pen. This is from 2020. This is my magic pen. It's magic because it has a magnet on it and the book cover has a magnet on it and so my pen sticks to the book. So guess what I don't do? Don't lose my pen. Well, I did though for four years. My rainbow fell down because this desk is a little rickety where it is. And if you're watching Amanda, I do love this desk. Hang on, that's turned in the wrong direction, isn't it? Yeah, I can't turn that around. That's right, because I'm not blaming myself for everything anymore. I'll take accountability where it's I need to be accountable. But also, when you use six different platforms and only use three, and you don't have a phone stand, and you're trying to get stuff done and YouTube gives you strikes and Instagram doesn't let things go on and everything has a different camera because some cameras you can flip. So, I'm going to, I was going to just show them to you initially and then I realised that won't work. That's why I'm hectic. But I've been watching other readers and they do it too. I'm not doing what they, hang on, well I'm doing what other people do, which is just be themselves on the internet. So it turns out I can, I'm allowed to. I'm 43 crying out loud. So maybe you're feeling a bit like you're not allowed to do things and you owe it to someone to... Home, Gabrielle Applin, playing on Spirit of Fire, upgraded 2024. Maybe you're feeling like you owe someone an explanation. Maybe you feel like you're entitled to something. No judgment in anything I'm saying. Absolutely just purely thinking of different scenarios of how this, because I know that home to me by Gabrielle Applin is my spirit song. So her other song, Keep On Walking, is my flowers. That scar is, my daughter told me this, I don't, didn't know this, and I have a lot of nurse friends, so you can actually tell me whether or not this is true, because um, I don't know if it's true. Actually, I just asked my doctor, he's awesome. I'm seeing him in a few days, but not a few days, actually a few weeks, that's not awesome. It's hard to get a good doctor in Australia at the moment, if you haven't noticed. Um, if you don't live here, you wouldn't know that. This scar, my one scar from psychosis when I should have actually probably blown myself up with 240 volts, tearing the smart meter out of the um, power box of my house because I had been driven so far into being in fear of everything and being told so many times that I was insane. Amber Run is my song. I'm choosing that. I'm passing that on. That's my message. There's a great song. You might not like the song. You might like the words. You might like the words and I did not just say that other way around whatever amber run yeah I've got the damn songs called Fuck sakes. this is why I do things on the fly um amber run and the lyric so you're about to find it anyway from this if you wish to google it um I'll use you as a warning sign if you speak enough truth or if you talk enough truth then you'll lose your mind that's why I have this channel if you ask me a question and you get sent a link don't be offended the whole point of this was for me to be able to figure out, from the start, it was for me to be able to get the confidence to actually just charge people for readings. I was already doing readings here, there, and everywhere for free. I was told by a medium that I could charge them and my grandma would keep me safe. And you know what? I thought that medium was wrong and I've changed my mind right now in this moment because I thought that my grandma would never tell me such a thing. And actually these are my cards and it turns out that I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. All I know is that my mum told me to that my grandma would be mad. So I did what I do to ask that question because I do have God in my heart. I do have Jesus in my heart and I'm very authentic and I'm very honest and I'm very genuine. And mum, I know that you don't think I should be putting myself on the internet. Good for you. I'm sure that my favorite auntie, that's not my favorite because you're all my favorites, but she's one of the people that I go to for guidance and I trust. I've got no freaking doubt that she is either gloriously yelling yay for me or she's 
not wanting to go anywhere near me as a subject matter full stop. Either way, that doesn't bother me. That's I'm not here for anybody. Whole point, mum. So I think I'm allowed to say at 43, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna check though, because I do have a phone call with exactly who you wanted me to go and see, a social worker. I told you that the other day and you've told me yesterday that you'd like me to see a social worker. And if I have to tell you on YouTube, the only way you'll ever know I told you on YouTube is if someone from the family is watching me and they report it back to you. And so if I get another message from you, mother, saying that I can't say what I want to say on the internet or I need to check with my gran or that I killed my father or any other such nonsense, it's on the internet. I'll send the link to the social worker. She will see what I'm saying on the internet. And if she says, stop it, I'll stop. But as far as I, uh, Echo Smith, shine bright, Spiritify, that's what's playing on the TV. So mother, I'm pretty sure it's fine. These are my cards, 17, Nebula Warrior. Pretty freaking awesome, wouldn't you say? I reckon. And oh, the spoopy, spoopy bit like Alice in Wonderland, but the Mad Hatter, 16, Rooster Mama. So, Mama, Mum, Mummy, Mum, 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 People of my age will get this meme. Um, Hayden might um, get it. I'll say Hayden. Hayden's my beautiful supporter who speaks to me through music. So maybe he will understand or maybe he won't. But he is my magic number, 22. So he certainly is old enough and wise enough and I believe emotionally evolved enough to be able to get what I'm saying. And if he's not, well then he won't be. And he isn't and he is not. But Nebula Warrior is 17 and Rooster Mama is 16 and I shuffled these cards very well. But I won't read them out because they're my cards. Just know. I am the Nebula Warrior and the Rooster Mama. <laughs> not Kakor. Not Kakor at all. There is no Kakor here. No Kakor at your door. That's just a little message for one of my fam bam that will actually understand what that means. You can't fight the good fight with Kakor. Sister, you just can't. Kakor won't get you very far. Make you look a bit insane in the membrane, especially if you... I can't even repeat the stuff you tell me as advice or used to when I listen to you and you talk to me and I let you talk to me. But no, I couldn't. I'd, I'd get a strike on YouTube. That's what's hilarious about this. I've got people coming to me telling me what I can and can't post. If Eminem mateys, real slim shady. I'm just saying the things that you guys say inside your living rooms. You're just scared because some of it was what you said in your living room and I'm saying it online. Somebody call the police. Cassie's got the cards out and she's saying scary things. And so uh, the YouTube world, all of my beautiful display is actually on the other side. You just get to see a background of wall and I'm not even gonna do anything to fix it. I cannot be bothered. I've got other shit to do. There we go, see? And now I've got one person that I will not send this link to because I swore on it and I'm not that rude because they don't like swearing and I have manners. But also know how to speak good Australians to the Australians. So, in my deck, that is available for free download that apparently nobody's interested in, but one man on the internet with about six million more followers than me. And again, Hayden, I'm sorry, but you're the only one who gets that joke. You really are. You're the only one who finds <laughs> density darkness and the artistic artness funny. So I kind of need you. Because, well, I don't need you. Actually, I don't. You're my nephew. I don't know if you need me. I don't need you at all, but I like you and I love you. And I did enjoy talking music with him and poking shit at Dendy Darkness with, um, yeah, all his artness because he can write and he can draw, but words are not art. And he wants to know what I'm good for. Quite frankly, he, that's exactly what he said. Not those words, that's me paraphrasing. And I responded and he has a lot of followers. And I was like scared because I don't usually get into internet fights. So I made sure I just answered in all my authenticity and I got one laugh react on both of my comments. And he didn't fight me. And then I guess I'd be his top fan because I made that one comment. It was great. Anyhow, this is where I know my grandma because my grandma, she did nonsense. And I was telling my friend Simone, hey, shout out to you, Sim. You're the only person that I've ever shortened their name without asking. So you must be true soul peeps. And it's funny because my mate Bree, her name's already shortened. She told me she's actually a Brianna. Hope that's okay that I announced that, Bree. But you're not anyway. You're Harmonia. I finally remembered which goddess you are. My deck is trust yourself. Tarot. Woo! He is we and run. Great freaking spirit flying. As always, no one believes me. 
but that is available for download. I don't know where now because I <laughs> took it down because no one was downloading it. If someone wants to put in the comments that they would like a watermark digital printable copy of my deck that is designed to just be very, very straightforward and easy, it is tower, it is very, if you want to be like me, a purist, A plus type A personality, imposter syndrome, riddled with doubt, take your manager mic in Perth to freaking move a knife a tiny bit on a plate to try to explain to you that, hey, you are winning. You're a success. You don't need to prove yourself. Stop thinking you're failing. But like maybe you can't because maybe you've got a whole bunch of crap in your head that doesn't belong to you, fears that other people have laid onto you. Like, yeah, your grandma is, grandma's fine and she's not a threat. Even if she's a ghost, she still can't hurt me. I don't believe in ghosts. So it's, uh, she's not going to do anything to me. And if she's angry at me, that's okay. My grandma left Poland when she was 15, as far as I know. And my, oh, I can't even say those names. My AT will have to get to me to fill me in if there is any impropriety, okay? Because I'm just here full of integrity. So I've made it simple. There's no reversals. If there's crap things in here, it's included in, because a lot of people will say that you don't need a reversal. Tarot does give a lot of information. I haven't gone overboard because my brain went overboard trying to get it right and it's still not perfect and it's great because this is my demo deck. Available, free, when I, let me know if you want one and I'll make it available, actually, because it's not currently. But if you want one, let me know in the comments and I'll get to it. This one, what you guys are gonna do, you're gonna do the work of deciding what the layout means. So I'll show you the positions because again, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's cardomancy. If someone does know and they could tell me, that would be super helpful. Otherwise, I'll Google it when I remember. My phone will probably start ringing soon and then this will all get cut off anyway. Um, so I better get moving. Knight of Swords, and I don't even need my glasses for these ones. Assertive, direct, impatient, intellectual, daring, focused, perfectionist, ambitious, rude, tactless. That was at the top, but it's not what I pulled out first, because I didn't start with those two. I started with the one that my beautiful Brie who is not Brianna, and maybe she's not Brie, maybe she is Harmonia, I don't know, Brie can decide. But her soul wanted the Divine Circus, and why wouldn't she, because they're freaking awesome, my daughter was attracted to this deck too, I'm pretty sure, by Alana Fairchild of Blue Oracle Publishing, which I mention every time, because it's Melbourne based. Yay, Melbourne, go team, and we've got 26, well it's, Iggy told me it's going to be 26 degrees, it's Melbourne, for all I know, it could be snowing out there, but I've, because I've got the blind down, but it doesn't look to be. So again, these flung out on the floor, I can guarantee you, but I'm not gonna try to prove it to you. Um, these are being well shuffled. 28 and 29, Kidlington. So I started with these. They flung on out right as my, well, just after my rainbow crashed, but everything else stayed still. 28, Sacred Fool. I don't know what you can and can't see. And I keep filming upright and I'm not supposed to. I keep forgetting to put the camera on the side. So I'll remember that soon. This is why it was going to be the ADHD advice line. And 29, Joker is wild. It's great though, because the people that are getting the message and who get the message and who want the message and need the message or who have asked for the message, oops, there we go. See, easy bit. You could afford to slow down a touch maybe if you're going a bit fast and you feel like you could use a break, possibly. Or... You need to do a trick shot because that was a nice little divey talk. What's the song? No, I can't. We saw him, my ex and I, um, for my birthday last year, and the poor dude, his band got too scared to fly to Australia. <laughs> I don't know why. Did he ever? I, well, you won't comment in the comments, um, so I can't ask you. But I can't remember what the reason was. I don't know if they were scared of COVID, which is pretty funny when you're an aged care worker. And I didn't even work through the pandemic. Oh my God. If you were a nurse, doctor, anyone on the front line that had to wear full PPE, sister, brother, mother, mother, father, doves of a feather, birds together. If you did that, you're a hero. You're a national treasure. Bottom card. So I pulled the Divine Circus. And I will read the meanings out. I pulled them first. They flung out. Little trick shot. Then I got a trick shot on the Knight of Wands. Because of course he would do a flip. He flipped out of the deck. We've already spoken about him. We know what he is. He can be rude and tactless. But he can also get the job done. 
And then bottom, last card. So we've kind of got top, middle, bottom. I can't remember if I showed it at the start. I think I did. King of Wands in all his blazing glory. What is this song? Because he's singing I'll Be Just Fine. Just got to wait for the words to come and then I'll remember the... See, and it, my daughter is like the song Oracle. My mum thought that we were both like this. My mum told me once, um, you know, that blonde lady, Pamela, what's her name? The old beach boobies. And I went, um, oh no, she, no, sorry. My mum didn't even give me Pamela. It wasn't that. She just gave, told me beach boobies, I think. I don't think I got blonde. It's got beach boobies on it, Pamela Anderson. And I miss that, mum. That, that was fun because now Ali does that with me, but I give her even less information. And I do just like what you used to. I... We're like, um, uh, oh, Ali, do you know that song? It's, like, it's got a person in it and sung by, what well, could be a man, I think it's a man. And it's about love and he sings something about being angry. Like that could be freaking anything. But um, yeah, my blue will figure out one, like from that one word, bam, got the whole song. I know, I know this. I'll be just fine. There you go. I'll be just fine. So King of Wands, because he'll be just fine. He's a natural born leader, vision, entrepreneur, Honor, charisma, advice, kind, happiness, energy. Yeah. So, maybe you want to know how to be getting from there because Knight is in tarot, generally a younger, if you're looking at these as the archetypes or the, no, there's something, the court cards. Court cards, uh, you know, I'm forgetting pages, knights, queens and kings. There's so many cool decks now, so they're represented differently, but they speak to the archetypes of the pages, the student. You're killing in the name of Rage Against the Machine. So, if you, I won't do what you tell me, but also I do try very hard to do what a lot of people tell me. I follow laws. I don't break laws. I don't, well, I do. I break stupid rules for good reasons, like how we started, if you're watching me from the beginning, like it said in the passage about Jesus when he got in trouble from everyone, they were horrified because he healed a woman on a, on the Sabbath and the Sabbath is a Sunday, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, he did it on the day he wasn't supposed to. And I don't think he said, if you are, I won't do what you tell me. But then also Jesus is pretty badass. So if Jesus is real, then Jesus, I'm happy to follow Jesus, dude. And then my daughter pointed out, um, I don't know how they said that, like, I don't know why it came to them, but it just, it hit me like a bomb. That, um, yeah, it just it, hit, it really hurt my heart when I heard that Jesus, as he was being crucified, and I'm pretty sure because I sat in that movie, the Mel Gibson one, oh my God, that, it, well, we had to take a smoke break. And we only did one, and I was proud of us, because I just, that whole movie was a smoke break. That was intense. Passion of the Christ, I think. Yeah, my daughter said when he was being nailed to the cross, that's when he threw his head back and screamed, my father, why have you forsaken me? And, oh, oof, ouch, soul flips that, like someone's lyric could be a boom in your heart and I listen to this super loud, but I have my seatbelt on and I do what my dad taught me to do and I make sure I don't just keep my eyes in front because that's not how you drive. You keep your eyes everywhere. Don't stop them moving. Keep on moving. Keep on believing. Get on up when you're down. The Venga bus is coming. Catastrophe. And now you do what they told you, but you're under control. So maybe... You're running around like a bit of a zippy, lippy, rude, tactless sounding lunatic, but maybe you're being a people pleaser. I certainly know when I'm pe when I'm pleasing people, they don't see that. They see this, they see all sorts of lovely things. And then as soon as I say, hey, no, one time, one beautiful lady that I met at work was like, I told her no, and I was felt really mean because it was a hard thing to say no to. And she told me that she like super respects that and that's her best friend's energy and she thinks it's awesome. And now I get a feeling that she's a bit pissed off and probably thinks that I'm out to destroy her. And that's like, I'm not here to destroy anyone. I'm just here to be the King of Wands because I'm boss energy and he's a Sagittarian. He's also Aries. He's also a Leo. Fire signs. But you don't have to be a fire sign to resonate with card. And you might be a fire sign somewhere else in your chart too. Um, I'm fire sign front facing. That's my sun sign. So yeah, of course I'm charisma, advice, kind, happiness, energy, natural born leader, vision, entrepreneur, honor. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. That's where you're going to do your soul work and decide. So we've got, no, well, we want him, you know what? Yes. Spirit said it, I'll do it. King of Wands sits under the dragon pen of magic because it has a magnet. And if magnets aren't magic, well, then I don't care what you think. You're not fun. You're not welcome here. If you're someone who doesn't think that magnets are magic, then you're probably in the wrong space. And if you're here getting angry about what I'm saying, um, I hope all of my 
things that will stop you from commenting a single thing on my thing. Um, didn't work with the bra dude, but he got me fucking up and said, there we go now, I definitely can't share it because I said an F-bomb. Not to the world, just not to this one person because I respect them too much and I would not hurt their ears with my swearing because it would hurt their ears and it's not nice and I don't do that to people. That's Hauso behaviour and we're not Hausos. If you're a Hauso, um, an incel, actually if you're an incel you might get some healing here. Because that's, the, well, someone got upset about me not wearing a bra. And then I got a whole heap of healing and I'm pretty sure a bunch of other people did too. Because then I started getting nice messages about how good they were feeling. So, to my um, haters, thanks, you are moving me along with ridiculous, like, to the point that I'm now, it's going a little fast, guys. Dinah, my angel that I refuse to identify, um, wished, I knew that she was wishing too hard. Because you got to be careful what you wish for and her wishing is, like, pure intent. See, in Australia, I, this is, again, Australians. Got to speak Australians to Australians, and sometimes Australians to the rest of the world. They don't understand us, and they don't know how you... You just don't know what our words mean, your bows and howzos, and how can you when we're doing yuis and going to the bottle-o and going to chuck a yui to... U-bolt. That's the same thing. U-bolt and a yui, two things. Same thing. But a yu is a sheep. Female sheep. Sorry, now I'm getting into the music. And I can't read without my glasses, which I know I brought in. Woo! We are smashing it in this. Some things will just not go to plan, and I'm realising that that's okay. I've been watching a lot of videos, not so I can get all of my messages, but also so I can do what you do when you go into business. Research. Market research. Watch what the other people are doing. Keep an eye on the trends. See what's popular. So, Sacred Fool. I can't remember what order they came out in because they jumped out there on the floor. But 28, so we're going to go in sequential order. Does it make sense? 28, Sacred Fool. I'm gonna kill my um, YouTube algorithm because I'm on fire at the moment because I've got energy from nonsense and I'm also using this as a way to relax. So I could be posting 10 things a day and then I might not post anything for two months. And then it's gonna just be like how it is because yeah, Diana Dina, she has probably given me a bit too much pure wish upon a star energy and I've got more notifications than I can handle so I'm gonna have to spend a day doing the admin soon and I'll do that when my brain isn't so squizzly because it gets squizzled when I've got a lot on. So imagine a life free from concern about the opinions of other people. Isn't that what we've just been discussing? A life where you feel brave enough, that'd be nice, free enough, that would be glorious. Yeah I do want to feel free enough thanks very much and I am. Trusting enough that's going to take some time for me to play the fool. Incubus, I wish you were here. I also just found out that an incubus is, I think the male version, or the like, the, or, well, it's gonna only be one or the other 50-50. So it's either the male or the, but I'm pretty sure it's the male, has fornicates with the female, and this is not genders, it's divine energies and mythology. Incubus fornicates with the succubus, 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 in their sleep. And that's how their energies meld together. And I didn't know that. All I know is that this is a fantastic song. And my awesome friend from school, Renee, shout out to you. She worked, I think. Did you work during COVID? I know she's a nurse now. She's working now. And she's also very authentic and present herself as a beautiful goddess and as a mum and a hardworking nurse online. And she has empowered me to do the same thing. She's my age. She might be a bit older, might be a bit younger, but she was in my year. Sunbury College, which has been, I don't know which one it was when we were there, I think it was Sunbury Secondary, it's been down, some, it was Sunbury High, I think it's Sunbury College now. Anyhow, I always think of you, Renee, when I hear this song, every time, because you commented once years ago that you love this song and I've never forgotten it. Um, so I do wish you were here, you are probably fun, I haven't seen you in a long time, but you, your internet presence is great. Uh, okay, so, The Fool. The fool in tarot is the first, the very first card in tarot. It's to take the leap into the unknown, into the void. Free yourself. Just be brave and do it and know that God's got you and Jesus is in your heart and your grandma's not mad at you and everything's fine. And you can say mum out loud. And if people know that you're saying mum and they're getting angry, well, then they've got stuff to work out themselves. Maybe find another channel. Um, so, to make a choice, even if it seems illogical, unreasonable, daring or downright foolish. Yes, like I always ask David who I got along with better than I have with just about anybody, like most consistently and for the longest amount of time. And David, I don't know exactly what his diagnoses were and I wouldn't share them even if I did, but I would just say some sort of state causing 
psychosis, which is what dementia will do to you, but it's different to the psychosis I had. Just the same as type 1 diabetes is different to type 2 diabetes. And if you know someone with type 2 diabetes and you meet a type 1 diabetic and you go, yeah, I know all about that because my grandma or uncle who would do, mm, or you punch a candy bar out of their hand, that's candy bar for the Americans. I'm just going to say chocolate lolly. Stop it. You're being an ass hat. And I've already said one word, two words, so ass hat's not bad. Educate yourself. That's ignorance and it's rude. It's really bad manners. If you know someone with type 2 diabetes, if you know someone with diabetes, just check first which one it is before you advise or have an opinion. Otherwise, stop it. It's rude. I don't like it. This is the channel of mum energy because now I'm, a, I'm an empty nester and I'm living in a house by myself and what am I going to do? Yell at my pot plants? No, that kills pot plants. I tried growing potatoes because someone suggested my daughter said that they... Well, my daughter's housemate managed to get it to work and if you look at it on the internet, Google, again, I wish Google would sponsor me. I'd like promote them in every video. Turns out you can. Arnie Ann. Arnie Ann. Arnie A+. I've got to send you a message after this. That's my next priority. I'll forget it, but I'll remember in time. And then you'll get a message saying, hey, how are your potatoes going? Did you give up? I gave up. But my roses don't look dead because I tried it a different way. So, anyhow, let's read the rest of this card. From this reading's hectic. But there's a lot of information contained within it too. Take what resonates. If you're triggered, go away. Calm down. You don't need to be here. You can switch me off at any time. Ugly Heart by... I know who it's by, but it's U-G-L-Y Heart. Now I have to dance. I must go. I've got to hurry up, Marie, so I can get up and dance, because I do. I need to move my body. So, you might seem stupid. You might seem crazy. David and I would say, is it logical, practical, and reasonable? And if it was, and it was, oftentimes, most of the time it was, then that's what we did, go time. Yes, it's logical, it's reasonable. You might think that it is, and the rest of the world might think that you're a lunatic. Doesn't matter, cast aside sensible opinions and poker faces. The sacred fool invites you to live unafraid, take a risk, and step away from the confines of what seems sensible and logical in life. Yeah, I don't have a good backdrop, screw it. It is what it is. You'll watch if you want to. I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'll be here forever. Let's go to the affirmation. Say the following affirmation aloud. There goes my light plane of confirmation because when I moved in here in 2021 and my brain cells had shut down because they were trying to recover from all of the frying that the toxic sludge of life had poured into me and made my brain have a brain split and look up positive integration. No, positive disintegration, the theory of. If you want to know what I'm talking about or don't, the affirmation is, say the following affirmation aloud to boost the power of this message and to integrate it into body, mind, and soul. I never used to believe this, but my Arnie J made me believe it. You can say it morning and or evening for a few days or even a few months or just at the end of your healing trip. So there you go. If you just want to do it out loud with me right now, don't have to, but if you'd like to, I do sometimes, sometimes I don't. I'm going to be saying it out loud right now, so this is good. Again, meeting my KPI for my channel to help myself. Ready? Sacred fool, set me free. To live as I need to be. Wildly and divinely me. We're going to take a risk. Can we do it? I reckon we can because it's just a snippet. Let's do it one more time. Sacred fool, set me free to live as I need to be. Wildly and divinely me. And the card artwork, Jester, is by Maxine Gad. And that's easy, yes, because now I just go up one page. Joker is wild. Don't push the envelope. This is too long to go on Instagram, so it's going to be YouTube that makes the decision. So, and they do, they actually run it through their copyright -o meter to decide if you've breached copyright, which is fair. I agree. I see. I'm not angry. I just have to remember not to break the copyright rules because it's a pain in the ass to try to fix everything up. No truck, Kate Miller, high key, Australian goddess. If you watch the the voice where they spin in the chair, she's going to be on it this year. I don't watch it. My dad loved that show. So I watched it when he was living with me because he'd have it on in the background. I rarely sit down and watch TV ever. 
Surprise, surprise. 29, Joker is wild. I adore these cards. Bree, you did pick right. Um, the universe has a sense of humour. Does it ever? And I'm uh, usually laughing along with it. That's how I know my grandma's on my team. That's my little granny. I know my grandma is on my team because I can be sensible too. Um, and probably sometimes she didn't laugh at things as much as I would or my little grandma would have. And sometimes I don't laugh as much at things as I should. So, yeah, we're a product of our genetics for sure. The universe has a sense of humour, but never at your expense. Well, do you know what universe? I don't know if I agree with that, actually. But then you can't have all light without darkness and vice versa. It is laughing with you. It's true. It is laughing with you, not at you. You just have to learn how to get into the divine flow. I was listening to a reading before, or maybe it's one that I did. I don't even, I don't remember. But when you can learn to dance in the rain, dancing in the storm, boom, crash, opera, another banger. You will see this for yourself as the Joker weaves her magic in your life. It is so true. Once you start seeing it, it's everywhere and it's hilarious. And I've been sending it to people so that I can prove that I'm not psychotic and I'm not unwell. They can see it too. I'm, and they're not psychotic. And I, not everybody I met was in a freaking. I, I know I speak to one person now. I used to speak to several that were, no, that's untrue. I have a, thank you. I, Jen, have a beautiful pen pal doing freaking amazing work in this space. Um, and that's why I took the time to fill out your survey so comprehensively because I've copied and pasted those answers into a document because that will be foundational for me to then create something bigger based on my understanding of the theory of positive disintegration by the man whose name I cannot say because it's Polish and I'm Australians. Um, my mum would probably be able to pronounce it. My aunts would. I'll ask one of them. Um, got off track. So, yes, magic. You have to see it in everyday life. My doctor told me that I can take 111 on the washing machine as a sign because I realised it's not the washing machine giving me a sign. But at one point in 2020, thanks to a whole lot of big mean bullies who were mean because they were scared I was going to dob on them to my grandma who, like, I don't know what they... They, no, they were scared I was going to dob on them to the authorities and to the public. Is that the fear? Every time I get a message saying stop, 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 there's a lot of people that are like, speak, speak, speak. So if you're saying stop, 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 you know the only people who start getting frightened when you start laying down boundaries? People that were abusing them. And Kate Miller Heidke says it. Now she'll have no truck with it. No truck. No truck. One more message from anyone. I don't care who it is. A lawyer, the police. Well, if the police say it, I'll listen because it's if I'm breaking the law, then I'll listen, I'll pay attention because I'm not stupid. If a lawyer says it, and I'll run it past a policeman, and if the policeman says that they're wrong, well, then I'll run it past another lawyer, and if the lawyer says that then they're right, well, then no, because it's Marbo, it's the vibe. If you come from me, you'll understand. That doesn't go to the pool room. No, then you're telling me you're dreaming. But if I'm not breaking a law and I'm just hurting your feelings, well, then I'm sorry, but hurt feelings are hurt feelings. Steve Hughes, brilliant comedian. He is a comedian because he imparts a crap load of knowledge, and he... <coughs> laughs at people who watch 20 to 1 and thanks Steve Hughes that broke my heart because I think you're really super cool and <laughs> I watch 20 to 1 but also I see what you're saying that we're, we're a generation we used to get told off for being dumbed down by the idiot box of television now my kids telling me that nobody can learn anything because they just can't get past short form content that's not untrue it's ruining minds if your kids watching nothing but TikToks how do you reckon they're going to go in their exams and now we're starting to change the way that we grade people based on making it fair for everyone, but we're getting angry because people can't, everyone can't have a participation award. You're gonna have to pick a, you cannot fight every battle. My grandma used to tell me to walk past anything I ever saw and keep my head down because my grandma had to do that. My grandma, my one of my aunts doesn't think my, if my grandma was a Holocaust survivor. One of my cousins does, I'm with my cousin on that. My grand was a Holocaust survivor. I don't think that they were in Auschwitz. I don't know. I've got to find that out. That's what I was going to do with my Arnie A+, but I haven't got near Ancestry.com. And I'm not paying for it at the moment because that would be ridiculous. I'd be paying money for nothing and I don't have any money to pay anything really just about at all full stop at the moment. But I'm across that too. So we're going to wrap it up on this because it's in a big country and it's so easy to remember and it's my favorite song is it but that's not why it's my favorite but it's pretty awesome because it's by in a big country and it's got bad pipes come on john farnham you to throw the bad pipes in into your voice and that's what got him away from being sadie the cleaning lady 
And now he's whispering Jack and Fonzie and the man of our nation. So Joker is wild. Joker is wild. Joker is wild. And I never took the smile away from anybody's face. And that is a desperate way to look at someone who is still a child. And I think I left a word out so it's perfect for Hayden because we'll just sing whatever we done. Well, I want to sing Hayden. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget that, Hayden. Don't get the words right if you don't want to. Only do it if you need to. Not necessarily if you have to. You need to follow the law. You don't have to. People break the law all the time, but you need to follow it. You should. But only if it's like for a good reason, because Jesus broke the law. And also, let's leave that for another time. Let's. Her wild ways, where were we up to? So, yes. Once you start seeing the magic, this song, magic, I'm gonna go dance to it in a minute and I'll do my affirmation under it. Bringing you the grace that is beyond all reason, the necessary ingredient to ensure you win with the hand you have been dealt with. Here we go, this is a message from my ex. If he's watching, he'll get mad and I'll get a letter from someone or an attempt to reconcile. If he's not watching, or one of his little watches isn't watching, well, then he won't know that I'm talking about this. And actually, I've got several exes, so it might not even be about the ex that he thinks it is. Someone might be really feeling really good because they think I'm still hanging on to them. Who knows? But let's just read this from the start and try to stay on track, shall we? I'm giving a lot of knowledge at the same time, though. I think this is like just channeling. This is what the psychological version of channeling is. There's a psychological version I found out, too, because I researched that. I'm like, is channeling even a thing? Turns out if you just chill out, relax and open your heart space and your mind and your third eye is not full of everybody else's crap because you learn how to say no and you don't really give any more clicks. I can't click my fingers. If someone, the day I believe in true magic is the day I can click my fingers. I've gotten better than that, but they're not working well at all. Right, go from the start, just read it in one hit, smash it through Cassandra, you'll be here forever. This is ADHD and hyperfocus and having a lot to say and maybe channeling. And there's a reader that, excuse me, I haven't had a fizzy drink, so there's not a lot of reason to burp, apart from that I'm full of hot air. Oh, you have no idea how much time I spend laughing at myself when I'm watching this back to edit it. I think I'm hilarious because I don't notice what I say until I hear it play back. So, yes, there is a reader um, who sees burps as a confirmation. I see farts as a confirmation. I absolutely do, because I think we spoke about this, or maybe I just said it to my soul daughter, Iggy. Just... Spirituality is holistic, and healing should be holistic, and doctors are recognising that. It's a whole. So, not your butthole, it is a whole. But if you fart, for myself, I only fart when I really need to go, and I haven't been able to, so a fart is a bloody good sign. It's clearing out a bit of hot air, which everybody thinks I could do with, and it's removing a blockage, which I know I could do with. So, let's try one more time. For the last time, Cassandra. The universe has a sense of humour, but never at your expense. It is laughing with you, not at you. You'll see this for yourself as the Joker weaves her magic in your life, bringing you the grace that is beyond all reason, the necessary ingredient to ensure you win with the hand you have been dealt by life. There's nothing impossible when the Joker appears. Nothing is impossible at this time, guys. So if you want to level up from the knight to the king, you can do it. Her wild ways can transform a losing streak into a lifelong love affair with Lady Luck. I love it. It's so true. Every new beginning is beginning. Some other beginnings end. Okay, well, that's an ad because it's gone in my free Spotify. So I won't do the affirmation through that. Screw that. So again, say the following affirmation aloud to boost the power of this message and to integrate it into your body, mind and soul. You can say it morning and or evening for a few days or even a few months or just at the end of your healing trick. Yes, we will. Home, Skunk Hour. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah Leslie. I don't think you're going to freak out if I say your full name on the internet. You don't even live in this country. But you're the one who put me onto this song when you made me my burnt CD. And I used to play this in the 90s when my stereo wasn't at cash converters because it was tough times. If you can afford not to, don't take out payday loans. If you are in trouble, try to stay away from afterpay. If you've, we had the saving the pentacles card earlier, these readings won't all go up today. And the messages will resonate when they're meant to. But for now, I am headed for home because I've been away too long. So I've got to get out of here.
say the following affirmation aloud to boost the power of this message. You can do it as many times as you want, or you can just do it once now out loud with me, and it will still have an integrating effect. So let's go. Joker of love takes the reins, and the perfect punchline is all that remains. Love it. Card artwork by, so card artwork, Joker by Maxine Gad. Girl in stilettos with a something something. Swinging her hand back in her something something. I can't hear it. I don't know, know all the words off the top of my head. I know it's a group of children in the trees. That's my self love jar. Jealous husband through a keyhole watching. A something lady on her knees. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Everything is perfect except my little rainbow fell down, but that's okay because we're heading home. We're not worrying about picking up the rainbow. It's Melbourne. It'll come back. We're gonna preside. Hang on. Everybody, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Told you I was gonna let you have a little window into my life. There's a few people peeping through my windows. I'm used to that. That's what Facebook was invented for. Some people use it to tell their stories. Some people use it to watch other people's stories. That's fine. It's by pretty much whatever I post out here. I post on Facebook anyway. People are going to watch if they find you interesting. And if I'm so interesting, well, then I'll give the people what they want. I'm just like that. Isn't that what people are asking for? And if you're not, you have well and truly turned me off by now. Don't you worry. I'm not worried. Don't you worry either. But I'm off to get my rainbow. Let's just see if I can do this without knocking everything else off the table. Because if I can, that's sorcery. No, there's... It's just wood and just moving a little slower sometimes and I learnt this the hard way when I tried not to wake my daughter up on Christmas morning and was so happy that I was up before then and was able to wrap the one last present that I didn't get to wrap the night before because this was back in the day when I was sensible and was still no, see there we go I crashed something I thought I could do it but you know what I did I took the lead around the corner and that doesn't even make sense to do that anyway I fell down the phone. Ha, ha, ha. I love it. That couldn't be more perfect. So, there's your rainbow. Got it. Woo! Because the next thing I was going to do was turn the phone around. I won't put that there because that will just fall and we don't need it. And now we've got Lily Allen. But we can't listen to her for too long because then it'll get a copyright strike and this is 42 minutes for this many cars. That wasn't my intention, but I don't hate it. So these have been swapped around. These are where they are, where they were, but we've switched him. Maybe you are the boss and you're getting your delegating. Maybe you've got someone who's like an Iggy has been to me. And sometimes a blue ping, well, sometimes people are different things at different times because people have different loads to carry. So you could be an Iggy, you could be an Ellie, you could be a Rachel, you could be a, you could be a Rachel with a Y, you could be a Rachel with an E, but just, Forget your balls and grow a pair of tits, okay? I won't say the B word. I mean, I do, but I won't say it right now. I'm just saying. That's your reading. You decide what way it resonates. And I've got to remember, hang on, because I've got to finish with a smiling, nice face. Just to, well, I don't have to do it to satisfy Craig, but maybe he'll enjoy a nice smiling face. Don't know if he's watching. He was one of the window watchers, I think, on my Facebook, because I can see you. Facebook gives you tools for that. I don't know how to turn this off, so I'm just gonna have to go. 